if you failed one run, one swim, one obstacle course, then then you could you could do that. Success is a hard ride, and you're gonna have to make sure that every opportunity that you get knocked down, you get right back up and you keep pushing, you keep moving towards your goal each and every single day because that's what's gonna make you successful. By getting up every day and working on your goal, no matter how hard it is or what situation you're in, making the best out of every situation and figuring out that that's how you do it. By just hard work, determination, no matter what situation you're in, always figure out a way to get back up. As long as you're humble and you listen and you take advice from other people, something that leaders have to deal with all the time. So clearly out of the gate, things that are immoral, unethical, or illegal, if you participate, you're guilty. That's the way it is. Now, things that are a matter of opinion, that's where you might have to play the long game. Like maybe you don't wanna do something a certain way, but if you think, oh, well, I think the jujitsu class warmups should be doing these exercises. Yeah and Echo thinks it should be those exercises. So Echo, these things, we should do it this way. No, we should do it this way. You dig in, I dig in. We end up saying, well, I'm not gonna teach the class. You know, you end up in these situations. Well, what's the big deal? What would I rather do? I'd rather play the long game. I'd rather say, hey man, can you explain why you do those exercises? Oh, here's another exercise cool one that I learned. Isn't this good for this technique? Oh, you know how you like when I do this move? This actually helps me do it, even though it's just a warm up move. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. We build a little relationship. You get to understand me. I get to understand you. Boom, all of a sudden you say, hey, I'm gonna incorporate that into our warm ups. We're gonna warm up here, boom. Like that, there you go. Now, I understand that the, that's the right thing, right? Because in, I'm, I'm, in my mind, I'm thinking, hey, these students need to know this escape. I don't want to make it sound like it's not hard because it right. certainly is hard. And right. especially for someone like myself, I wasn't the best athlete. You know, I was like an average high school athlete. And so physically, I had to go hard in order to, to pass all the evolutions. But yeah, I mean, compared to when you look at someone that was in the SEAL teams for a long time, they're not sitting there harking back to the days of remember how hard this training was. Right. They're thinking about their deployments overseas and the things that they had to do. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a really high percentage of people that quit, but there's also people that fail. If you failed one run, they were watching you. If you failed another run, you would get moved back to the next class. Then if you failed another one, you were out. Because you have a four mile timed run, you have swims that are timed, you have obstacle courses that are timed, and then you have other, we call them evolutions, but you have underwater not timed life-saving, take ownership of everything that's going on in your world. That's extreme ownership, that's mm. what it is. Discipline equals freedom. That was my second book. Perfect. Why did I write that book? Because if you wanna have freedom in your life, then you gotta have discipline. And lastly, you gotta be balanced. That's the dichotomy of leadership. If you go too far in one direction or the other, you're gonna screw things up. So balance the dichotomy of wow. your life. There's a reason why those books that there's a reason why I wrote those books. There's a reason why those titles are what they are. When you asked me earlier, what are you trying to do? What's your mission? My mission is to teach people the lessons that I've learned, right? So in trying to teach the lessons that I've learned, the biggest lessons that I've learned, I put them into books. They're actually in order of the way I believe them. Young individual that has a lot of potential, but they're not really taking advantage of it. They're not motivated to make things happen. What do I do then? And, and question after question after question after question. And I realized, okay, I need to actually put these principles in a field manual that people can pragmatically take the lessons, take the principles, and apply them to what's happening in the world. And that's what I try to do in the, in the new field manual. Well, actually what I did was, I started off with what I considered leadership building blocks one, two, and three from my life, from the SEAL teams. When I got to the SEAL teams, my first three SEAL platoons, this is the 1990s, there's no war going on, and I looked at these situations and said, okay, these are things that I took from these specific events, and I applied those for the rest of my career and for the rest of my life, and I apply them today. And so what I did was I started off by telling these three stories about my first platoon, my second platoon, my third platoon. To summarize the story, we were doing a training operation. We get into this tactical situation. Everyone in my platoon is focused on one area. Everyone's looking down their weapons, waiting for a threat to expose itself, which means you got 16 guys looking down their weapons and I'm waiting for someone to make a call. I was a new guy. I'm waiting for someone above me in the chain of command to say, hey, move here or hey, move forward or, or make some kind of a decision. Discipline is the root of all good qualities. You have to absolutely apply it to things outside of just waking up early. It's, it's everything. It's working out every day, making yourself stronger and faster and more flexible and healthier. Discipline is eating the right foods to fuel your system. It's about disciplining your emotions. 
so you can make good decisions. It's about having the discipline to control your ego so your ego doesn't get out of hand and control you. It's about treating people the way you would want to be treated and, and doing the tasks that you don't necessarily want to do, but that you know will help you or help your team. Thank you all so much for watching the video. If you haven't already, please go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let us know what you thought down in the comment section below.